it's if it's available, they'll eat it. Just gotta make it easy for them. Yeah, so what I would do is I'd actually stick the fat end in. Okay. That kind of dictated. You want to be 0. 0.6, so I'll probably eat. Like a 45 inch on that? Yeah, yeah. And then maybe go up a little bit. This facility is a pro level facility. People are close, guys are close, they have their own space. It's easily accessible for getting to the training room, getting to the weight room, and then on top of that, having that all-in-one type of mentality with the staff is huge. That's how you build relationships, that's how you build development, and that's how you're able to be more successful. Before I was here, I was with the Nashville Predators for 14 years. Uh, I was uh, the head athletic trainer there for eight years and the assistant for six. The most important part of my job is patient care, keeping people healthy and keeping them on the ice. And the renovations in and of itself, the wet room is the shining achievements in this athletic training room. We're able to get more guys in tubs, we're able to get more guys on treadmills. The underwater treadmill is kind of a new piece here and having that in-house allows us a little bit more flexibility and the ability to get guys in it more often and to use it not just for injury but also for possibly some performance aspects and getting guys loose before activity and then being able to have nutrition, strength and conditioning kind of all under one roof is a huge bonus as well. From an on-ice standpoint, we use a little management system. Um, so we track with an accelerometer their daily load, how that accumulates over you know a short-term period load that we deem stress, and then kind of their long-term chronic training load that we deem fitness. Kind of how we're building, how we're pushing their capacity, their tank is kind of how I communicate to the coaches. We're doing it in a way that kind of teeters that line, but make sure we're doing it without putting the athlete at risk. Hit it hard the rest of the week, so yeah. push it today a little bit. I was at the national team development program working for GVN Performance out of Plymouth, Michigan. I did that for three years, so three seasons with the program, a little bit of involvement with the World Junior team as well through that. And, you know, Knighty came over, and for both his years there, I was there with him, and he got this job, and the opportunity came for me to come over with him. And, I mean, I couldn't pass it up to come work in this facility for, you know, the history of this program and be a part of what he's trying to do here, and I'm excited to be here and be a part of that. No, oh, use that back hip, like swivel the hip. Yeah, there you go. I told the guys when I got here, you know, we could train out in that field over there and get better. Right? Like, this is all extra. I think, you know, that's something we're incredibly grateful for. And I think a part of my job is maximizing all the resources that we have, you know, through load management, through force play technology, applied sports science. I think not just doing things to do things, but we ask our athletes to train with intent. I think it's using that information with the same intent, right? And that's for development, being able to manage their bodies during the week to put them in a good position to have success on the weekend. But I think it's kind of pushing the envelope within that and having information that allows us to do that safely and effectively where we can have a level of development that I think without that information, you know, doesn't necessarily exist. Tomorrow we'll do the sauna, cold sauna like we have been. Today we're all good, so just focus on getting some good to eat. All right, good stuff, fellas. With Will coming on board and myself and Andy being here for a few years now, what we want to do here is make sure that we're providing health and wellness resources and implementing strategies to cover all areas for our athletes. Right before Michigan State University, I had an opportunity to uh, do a sports nutrition fellowship at the University of South Carolina. Spent a year there kind of honing my craft and learning the ins and outs of sports nutrition and fortunately had an opportunity to come back to Michigan State. This is my alma mater. Here at MUN, I'm the team sports dietitian, so making sure that we have snacks and food available for the hockey team. Now this is a totally new and centralized space for their fueling. The team hangs out here and they like to be in this space. This has really opened up the opportunity for me to just further develop a relationship and have one-on-one -on -one contact with every guy on the team, which makes it that much easier for me to implement any nutrition strategies that I might need to have with them. You're kind of always having exposure to, to one of those three areas, and Michigan State has really separated themselves from other programs. Nowadays, there's every way that you want to try to gain a competitive advantage. 
it's a lot easier when things are close to keep nutrition in check or do extra work with Andy in the trainer's room. Same with Will upstairs. Everything being kind of close definitely does help, but I think it kind of more falls on the expertise and things that they have to share with us. It's been incredible. I think, you know, having them here really allows me to focus on my job and do that at the highest level that I possibly can and have absolute trust that they're doing the same. I think Andy goes above and beyond a traditional athletic trainer. One, he can really fix guys, but two, he's really proactive with his treatment where he's getting ahead of any of those things. So if something comes up, they're really comfortable communicating with Andy and he can get ahead of that. So it actually keeps guys in the gym, keeps guys on the ice. We have more players available. I think to have Rob really dial in the, the nutrition, any supplements that we're allowed to provide them with with an NCAA, hydration, body comp testing, things like that, I think, you know, there's, there's no excuse here. And I think, you know, we've shown that and the guys make the most of it. And, you know, the resources we have with those two guys alongside what we're doing in the gym are pretty incredible. It makes a, a huge difference when we're all communicating and we're all on the same page. And, and that's what this space brings. And we know what each one of us are doing so that we can better implement our own plans. The clientele and the, and the staff that we have here are not ego driven. They're very much into being successful with the team and being able to get the best out of our players and to do what is necessary to have the best product on the ice. That's what you'll find at an NHL level is like everybody's there to try to help the team.